Uh, so I guess we have V-Wins versus uh, Way on X right now. Holy shit. Okay, sorry. Um, Marth Beach. What would you say about Marth Beach? Alright, I don't know. Um, V-Wins is just kind of doing work. V-Wins is a really old school player. And not many people know about him. Um, we made the melee 100 thing though. That's always cool. Kabilo's going Marth instead of his fox because he hates the fox beast matchup. He actually thinks it's the devil and he actually hates it so much. All you Satanist people, this is the devil. A woman in um, heels. That was kind of a bad forward smash to miss because he Vwins did not get the DI correct. The problem with this matchup is Peach lives for a while, but Marth can sort of zone her out forever yeah, because all his aerials are just going to Yeah, like in theory that Peach shouldn't really be like hit, hitting Marth often, but Marth has to take risks in order to kill her. Kind of like that, but then Peach also has other weaknesses, like she's bad, kind of bad at when she's holding the edge, so that's pretty usable. I do that, I use that a lot in my opinion, against Peach. A lot of times she'll have the turn up to approach and zone him out. Yeah, we're actually kind of seeing that right now. What do you think of out Nair? Nair pressure. Oh god, combo. Uh, but V1's um, made a good play to get out. Nair pressure is hard to get in because the fair can cut You have to like wait for him to swing. Yeah. It's better to start something. If you can like read with a down tail, you can like, Oh, that was... Like, V1's is doing a really good job of not dying, but like... It's... Camilo is also, uh, Wan X is also picking good moves At to... this rate, he'll be v lose. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe he made that joke. <laughs> that was an interesting turn for a while. Oh god, I thought he was going to spike him. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> v wins with all those mouth adjustments, Camilo looking exactly the same. Doesn't move whatsoever, that's that Chilean discipline. We could literally put a JPEG of him. Oh, he smiled! Happiness. That's good. This is interesting. Reverse Nair into off the stage is pretty good. Oh, counter, re counter, counter recovery. That was pretty, um... That was pretty interesting. That's what I'm using him. Oh, Float cancel Nair out of shield. Let's see if he gets this edge right. Oh, that was pretty Ooh. Edge guard yeah, probably... is like an art. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. With her at least. Um, obviously not with she. Those locks. Yeah. Th those characters are cheap though. Well, I mean, I guess it's not that hard. It's not that hard for Flock, but people are bad at it, so. Hmm. I think this is probably game. curtains pretty soon. I mean... It's happened, but it's rare to see a Peach come back from this much. I can believe it. I mean, not right now, but prior to this, probably 20% ago. I don't think it really makes much of a difference for percentage at this point. Until Fair starts to kill, I don't think that there's a significant percent after this. He even needs to be a lot more patient. Can we a little sort of counter I don't know, he's kind of making... He's making a lot of, like, progress back. There's... That's, oh. that's probably a kill. Yeah. That's pretty, like, tricky to hit. Survival? No, it doesn't survive. It doesn't, um, D-I-N. Oh, Camilo going for all the balls. But he still has his float, so he can still gamble. Oh my god, it, commentator's curse gonna happen? He's at 220. Oh! Ah, oh. that All was right. stressful. Camilo takes no way. Next takes the first match. Wow. Vwins kind of looks like a com like a computer technician. Uh, I think he looks like a French guy. Good. <laughs> oh, Double fair start. And Vwins body checks him for thin air. Oh my God, that was beautiful. Marry me. I see how it is. <laughs> um, oh, Camilo trying to throw back some thunder. Chilean thunder. No, it just looks like a can of beans. Oh, V wins. Combo! Please. Armada who? 
Camille is my friend and all, but I mean, sometimes okay, when you're so friends, Ryan X really has to like work to keep V ones from getting in on him like that. He has to do a better job keeping him out with the sword and his dash. This I don't thing. think I think he's over relying on the sword too right now, we're not using the dash effectively enough because Marth ranges Peach on the merit of speed, not just well, strictly range. Um, that's that's what I'm talking about. I feel like Camille might be able to pull Ooh. this out, but it's going to be really Punishes tough. Punishes the turnip pull. You were saying? It's probably going to be really tough for Camila to win this just because of how it played out last last game. Where he couldn't take the wins down and like, pass too far. To kill him till uh... I feel like way on X... Um, yeah, I know what you mean, but... I feel like this map is not as bad for killing Peach as, you, as people say it is. Just because it's easy to goad her into like floating or pulling turnips if you just keep her distance, and she doesn't have a real way to encourage her. I feel that's kind of what he's doing here right now to get these low percent combos. Like, see what I mean? He's just keeping distance, and then he just got killed for pulling a turnip. So it's tough. To, it's tough to judge when somebody's dash dancing away their safe distance. Oh, keep it going. Oh, oh he he, he, he predicted it. And <laughs> the turn of the little, like, disruption. He called that ledge wave land so well. Oh. Hits him. That was attractive. I'd make some eye contact with that. It, uh, v wins is the consistency has always impressed me. He, ne he never, like, seems to do bad whenever I've seen him play, like, anything. Except for, like, pound four, I guess, but... Yeah, even at like back at like S2IC old tournaments. He's How long was it before he played at Apex? I don't even know. Apex <laughs> is just really smart though. Like, uh, like what can what does Wan X have to do to bring this back? I guess he has to hit like a lot of combos or tempers. He has to adjust his like classes a bit. Like, uh, like, and like, that's the scientist. game. No contest. Alright, we're going to Yoshi's Story. Yoshi's Story. Story. The tale of the Tipper. I can't say this is surprising, but I still don't know if it's good. Well, Wayne X is really aggressive with like every character he plays. So. I can see it being pretty okay. I mean, most of the times when he's being Oh, he got nicked by the umbrella. Most of the times when he's being attacked, when he wins, can, um, is able to set up. He doesn't have as much space to do that on here. Yeah. And if you try and just like camp the platform so you get hit by a tipper for smash and die, it's like 50. Now that I think about it, even on, on, ex ex excluding when Mewtwo King's been here and stuff like that, I think V wins his lowest placing is usually like third. So, and usually it's like top two, so. Yeah. He's. That referred to me. Down smash. That edge guard is actually really good on Marth. Um. Wow, that was sick. That's that aggressive ass. This Peach is Latino. <laughs> um. We find out that George Lopez show at 9 p.m. Oh man, so much back here. Um, back here is sort of like one of those things that sort of went out, out of style with Peach, and I don't know why. Jeez, I hope she wiped. <laughs> It's like pretty good, it's a good poke. Yeah, I'll just to get away from the last up there. Oh, that was an important thing to miss, because now he's gonna have to wait until set up something where v is vulnerable and Well, yeah. Oh my god, that is such a good edge guard. That is so attractive. I've never seen that before. I don't I haven't even seen Armada do that one. I like the might have but I don't see. Oh. That's pretty funny. Oh, when good. Marth he shield eyed to get away from that, I think. When Marth's, like, mess up the ledge invincibility and I they just run ugly. to the net side to down smash. Didn't funny. do it that time. A lot of the defensive stuff can be hard to learn in this game just because you spend, if you're good, you spend a lot of the time attacking. Or not on defense. Oh, lord. This is a. Oh, that's. Oh, 
I go for the dare. Yeah, I think that would have made more sense than forward smashing there. Oh. He's being really good about like not letting the ones get back to the middle right now. I think I'm. Uh oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> it's that multi-option coverage thing that he was talking about. Down there. Throws away the stitch. I kind of agree with that. He's losing too many options by having it. Yeah. That's some people, that some people like take or put too much emphasis on the stitch that they don't like realize their neutral position or anything. Or they just get like too consumed to try to hit it. Oh, he did oh. a really good job of stuffing the fair and got that tipper from it. Oh my god, tip back here. When Martha is like the middle of the stage, it's pretty hard to get in there, especially on Yoshi's, just because of how big his hair is. It's like a kind of like that stage. Up. Yeah, I kind of like that up throw too. I mean, it could have gone better, but I think it was a good like. Mix. Oh, that was such a nice taunting. Looks like he was a little slow to follow. Yeah. I don't know if he can work. That closes the second, the third match. I think he accidentally aired instead of like aired or something. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Well, it's two one. V wins, about to be V lose. Again, you know, yeah. Or we can make him V8, if he's top 8. Like, V8. Wow, V8. And if Camila's top 6, we can make him Weon 6. Um, and if he's like top 16, Founder then we can Dreams. call him 3. Oh, I have nightmares playing v on this one. <laughs> Isn't this where he pulls all of his stitches and bombs against you? No, that's Pokemon Stadium. Here he just messes me up. <laughs> He's just really good at these platforms versus Sheik. I don't know, I've never seen him fight a pro Marthy though. Oh. What do you think he <laughs> He's using down smash back. How do you like it? What do you think of like Fountain versus I don't know, Battle Oh wow, that was a really, really good punish. Fountain versus what? Battlefield or Pokemon instead. Um. I mean, I sort of game like. One, game one. Game one was FD. Yeah, I feel Pokemon's pretty similar in structure to FD. Yeah. Um. I feel like Battlefield gets. Oh, that was a good nair. Yeah. Like, even with the amount of speed that Marth gets from wave landing and such, on the platforms, I feel like Ewan still has a good amount of space to work with there. But I guess he wants to be, like, close in on Marth for some reason. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like the reasons he was winning was because he was sort of pulling back enough, not being, like, forced into these situations where he had no space to move around. I think space is V-Wins' friend here. Yeah. I definitely agree with that sentiment. Oh. I feel like... I feel like that platform is sort of getting interfering with a lot of his, like, edge guarding for some reason, but I can't put my finger on why. Oh, he taunts. He taunts. It's on. Like some gigantic gorilla that takes away all your, like, saving and stuff. Oh, oh. Wow, he's just everywhere. Oh, kind of thought he was gonna do that too. Still trying to make that rent money. Oh goodness! Haunting again. Goodness gracious me! He's trying to get you wins all riled up in the pants and stuff. Oh. He's just—he's everywhere. I feel like I don't even know what I don't even know what the hell Vivian should be doing at this point to come back. I mean, he almost did on the first match, but you should probably unplug Camilla's controller. Oh, that was nice. That's this a start. He's That's a good gimp. These reverse nairs are really wrecking Camilla. Ouch! Any damage is bad at this point. Yeah, he almost did on FD, oh, but that's or fortunate for Camilo as he takes the set 3-1. Yeah, no, it's great performance by him. I just I think you'll I did not expect that on Fountain of Dreams. Jesus. Are you already in winners finals? Yep. All right, so it's going to be you versus Camilo. Okie dokie. Oh.